Salted or unsalted butter? Which one are you supposed to use? Let's talk about it while I make some toast. Generally speaking, you're going to use unsalted butter when you are adding salt later into a dish and when you want to have control over how much salt is in your dish. If I'm finishing something like bread or mashed potatoes, I usually want to use salted butter because I want the flavor of the butter to be really present. Some recipes specifically call for unsalted butter, but it is safe to assume in a recipe where it's just calling for butter, you can use unsalted. And then that way you have more control over how much salt is in the final dish. So it's really good for control freaks like me and also people who are trying to limit their sodium intake. The biggest benefit of salted butter is heightened flavor. Salt makes food taste like itself. So when you put salted butter on a piece of toast, you are going to taste that rich buttery flavor that you're looking for. It's important to get into the habit of tasting for seasoning or the saltiness of your dish so that you can adjust it to your preferences. Remember, you cannot take salt out, but you can always add a little more in. For my toast, I'm using Nelly's Free Range Grass-Fed Sea Salted Butter. Mm. Mm. So good.